Hello, welcome to All My Yankee Candles Part 10. And uh, this is an A to Z run through of all my Yankee candles, every Yankee candle I own. I uh, thought it was a good time to do this. I'm going to fly through these. I've got a lot to get through in this one. I, J, K and L in Part 10. So um, here we go. Without any further ado, let's fly. No descriptions, nothing fancy, just wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Icicles. So in no particular order, these aren't an alphabetical order. Icicles is one of my favourite wintry scents with the lovely Robin on the label. Came out originally in the USA, had a Red Cardinal on the label. This was the UK and European version. One of my favourite wintry scents. It's got everything in it. It's completely unique. It has cinnamon, it has berries, it has green notes, it has... I can't even begin to describe it. It has an outdoorsy freshness. Basically, one of the most complex and beautiful fragrances Yankee Candle have ever done. Can't sing the praises highly enough for icicles. There we go. What a start, eh? <laughs> okay, Easter. Jelly Bean. This came out for Easter. Um, it's a sweetie fragrance. I haven't lit this one. I've had it in votives and things like that, so I have smelled it before. And it's full-on sticky sweetness. It actually smells like a bag of jelly beans. You can't ask for more than that. So there you go. Jelly Bean. Beautiful jelly beans in a candle. And we fly back to Christmas quickly with... Icy Blue Spruce. Icy Blue Spruce is all things beautiful, kind of almost Narnia-esque label on that one. And it smells like a spearminty, kind of magical uh, green forest, really. Um, beautiful uh, kind of fantasy fragrance, but lots of green in there as well. But a mintiness to give it a kind of festive magical twist. So that's Icy Blue Spruce. And we jump into the summer with one of my favourite labels, Island Waterfall. Island Waterfall. And the candle matches. I haven't smelled this one for a long time. I'm quite excited to reacquaint myself. Ah, oh, it's aloe. It's fresh water. It's the outdoors. It's clean air. It's absolutely beautiful. A tropical paradise in a candle. Island waterfall. Fresh, beautiful spa. Marvelousness. There we go. Island waterfall. I'm going to have to be very careful with my spacing here. I've got a lot to get through. Kilimanjaro Stars. Kilimanjaro Stars. Again, the label is kind of a mystery one there. You've got the kind of stars over the top of Mount Kilimanjaro against that beautiful dusk, kind of dark, purplish sky. And the scent is to die for. It's a magical, warm, yet crisp night. Touch of ice crystals, but it's warm if you kind of see what I mean underneath. So it's a summer night with a, a hint of mystery and magic in the air. Fantastical fantasy marvellousness again. Kilimanjaro stars, absolutely love it. Juicy watermelon, a summer mouth-watering scent with slices of uh, watermelon on ice there. Juicy watermelon is, it's a sweet shop in a candle, this one. It's again, it's like, um, you used to get watermelon chewy sweets. Very much like that. It's like a bag of juicy watermelon sweets. Much more so, it doesn't smell like watermelon, it smells like candy, so um, it's it's divine, and a powerhouse thrower. People always say, which are the strongest Yankee candles? If you can find it, Juicy Watermelon, five out of five, knock the balls down, powerful Yankee candle, there we go. Okay, an empty one, see, I'm, this, this video's catching up with me, I always said at the start when I did the A's that um, I had to do this because I'll probably never have as many Yankee candles as I've got now, or, or definitely as I bring new ones in, some of the older ones will go. And look, it's beaten me to it. Kitchen Spice, we finished this actually two days ago, but I, I didn't want to miss it out. Kitchen Spice <laughs> still smells. Oh, it's This one always reminded me of mince pies. It's like the mince meat from mince pies in a candle. It's a bit like spiced orange as well, so I'm not too devastated that I've got rid of this because I've still got spiced orange, but... Again, it's a lovely strong one, Kitchen Spice, and that one goes to the Yankee Candle Heaven, so bye-bye Kitchen Spice. Put that one down there. <laughs> lovely Kiku. This one had also gone to Yankee Candle Heaven, but it was one of my wife's favourites, so we got another one a couple of years ago when it came back. So lovely Kiku, which has a picture of a purple chrysanthemum on it, but it's a fantasy fragrance. It's quite sweet, a quite sweet floral. It's powdery, this one, a powdery, um, a powdery mid good to, to powerful strength, lovely uh, floral candle, that one. So, you know, powdery, purpley, floral goodness. Lovely kiku. I'll start putting something at this side. I'm going to really run out of space. Let's go. Loves me, loves me not. So we stick with the floral theme. Loves me, loves me not. With its picture of a lovely daisy in the sunshine there. Loves me, loves me not. is a very grassy fragrance, actually. It's like lying on your lawn in the middle of summer, surrounded by daisies. And the smell of grass coming through. It's really grassy. It's got floral in there as well. But it really reminds me of... Grass growing healthily um, in the summer. So that's Loves Me, Loves Me Not. 
I'm cracking on at a pace here, so just, otherwise I will never get through these or I'll lose my thread or whatever. Lake Sunset is a late summer candle. This one was released as a, an autumn candle when it first came out a few years ago, and it's delicious. Look at that beautiful um, pear deck going out into the sea and into the sunset there. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's got a slight fruit note in it. It's powdery fresh. It's the sun setting. You're sitting on a warm night with the sun setting. And this just fantasy, warming, enveloping fragrance with a powdery freshness um, envelops you. So there we go. That is Lake Sunset. It's divine, that one. Absolutely divine. Uh, we now go Lemon Lime. Lemon Lime with its simple label there of lemons and limes. And whiz bang wow. This is the fizziest Yankee candle ever made. It's like opening a can of um, Sprite or 7-Up that you shook up and the bubbles froth out on a hot summer's day. Full on fizzy goodness. You can actually smell the bubbles in lemon lime. It's uh, fabulous. I haven't burned it yet. It's, I've only got one, so I'm going to have to be brave one day and do it because it just smells so good, that one, lemon lime. Okay, Lakeside Birch. Now, Lakeside Birch has um, a silver birch tree there with the leaves of the tree dappled in the sunlight. This always reminds me of autumn because the leaves have a yellow tint, even though it's the sun glinting on the leaves. Um, it reminds me of autumn, so I tend to burn this in autumn. And Lakeside Birch is amazing. It's um, it's very aftershavey, quite soapy, um, very rich. Uh, doesn't have too much greenery in it, if I must admit. It's like a walk by a lake in the early autumn when you've got your best togs on and you've know, got your favourite aftershave or perfume on. That's what Lakeside Birch reminds me of. Lovely, fresh, watery, soapy um, perfume candle. Beautiful. And quite strong, that one as well. Anybody fancy a party? I always do. And Luau Party always comes out on a party night. It's a tropical cocktail. It's fantastic. It's orangey goodness with um, tropical fruits and a bit of whiz bang wow in there. That's Luau Party. It's lovely. Very nice one to burn. I've burnt it a few times, but not too many. I need to burn it anymore. But then it'll be gone, won't it? It's my, again, it's my only one. So I do burn them, you see, where I've only got one candle and not back up. So I do actually burn my singles. Fortunately, I've got lots of lemon lavender. Le lemon lavender to me is spring cleaning in a candle. It's spring in a candle. It's like um, it's like the it's lemons and lavender mixed together. It's cleaning. It's it doesn't smell detergenty, but it's got that atmosphere of cleaning materials about it. So whether you've cleaned your house or not, I always say this is the great spring cleaning candle because it makes your house feel clean, even if it isn't really. So there we go. That's lemon lavender, and we will sail on the seas again in the summer with life's a breeze. Again, this is my only one. I haven't lit this one. I uh, picked this one up a couple of years ago. It came out as a limited edition. <sighs> It's sailing on the sea on a calm day with pure, clean water, seawater around you. It's one of those beautiful Yankee Candle water candles that they do so well. So it's lovely, fresh blue seawater is life's a breeze. Right, we have five to go. I can slow down a bit now because I can see the end in sight. We have Lavender. Lavender, um, I think it's retired now. Yeah, it retired about a year ago, but it was around for a few years. It's strong, it's fresh, it's invigorating, it's pure lavender on a on a fresh spring day. So beautiful, a beautiful, fresh, strong, lovely candle. Lavender. Can say no more. Classic and wonderful and very authentic as Yankee candle do. Authenticity. Let Freedom Ring. Let Freedom Ring with the Liberty Bell there. This is one of the uh, great Americana candles from the good old days when Yankee candles were made in the USA. Anyway, there we go. Um, Let Freedom Ring. It's one of the softest Yankee candles, one of the lightest throwers. Incredibly frustrating, but when you do get it, oh my goodness, it's the most beautiful, slightly sweet and delicate floral um, fragrances. It's exquisite. It's another one of those ones where I've touched on before where it's a very light candle, but some of the lightest candles have some of the most beautiful scents. And Let Freedom Ring, being one of the lightest, is also one of the most exquisite Yankee candle scents ever made. So there we go. You can't get much higher praise than that. Let's go back into the sunshine. I'm missing it already. Island Spa. That looks like uh, my favourite holiday location and possibly one of yours as well. Island Spa is... Uh, it's a lemony, tropical, fizzy... It's like it's like almost like sparkly water with a lemon touch. And I'm going to knock my candles off there. I don't want to do that. My table's getting too full. Beautiful. Anyway, yeah, beautiful uh, kind of sparkly water with a touch of lemon. Island Spa. We have two to go. Two to go. We can take a breather. 
Lavender Vanilla. Lavender Vanilla, another one of my favourites. I've got a couple of these. It's um, more than the sum of its parts, uh, this one. You'd think Lavender and Vanilla, meh. You know, what's it going to be? But, oh, it's so warm and comforting and divine. Just, I can't begin to describe it. The lavender is softened. The vanilla is a hundred times more than you'd normally expect from vanilla. It's so luxurious and beautiful. I love Lavender Vanilla. I love it. There we go. And it's strong as well. And last but not least, hidden at the back there, oh wow, Lilac Blossoms. This is my only one, but you'll only ever need one. Burn this one in small doses. It's the strongest Yankee candle ever made, uh, along with like Harvest Welcome and Wild Pansies and um, Salted Caramel and a couple of others. This is probably even stronger than those. It's an absolute powerhouse, but it's totally authentic. Oh, please bring it back, Yankee. This smells like Lilac Blossoms. It's so authentic. This is why Yankee Candle are the best Yankee Candle brand in the world. The authenticity of that is absolutely amazing. It's fresh lilac blossoms in a jar. Thank you for watching. That's IJKL. I'll be back soon with another run through. Thanks.